Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and a few days have passed since the reveal of Sonic Origins and the release of its trailer, and with it, new information has surfaced, so today I'm going to present you all everything you need to know about Sonic Origins. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and all those things that our YouTubers ask. So, for those that don't know, Sonic Origins is a Sonic collection of four remastered classic titles, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD, that's going to be released on June 23rd, 2022 at Sonic's 31st birthday. According to all the information we had, these are basically the Sonic 1 and 2 mobile ports developed by Christian Whitehead, Sonic CD, which was already on Steam, and the newly made Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which has been confirmed to have the contribution of Stealth and Headcanon, and, presumably, Christian Whitehead too. However, at the time I'm recording this, I haven't seen confirmation of Christian Whitehead's direct involvement. The original versions in 4x3 are also included in this collection under the name of Classic Mode. So for starters, it has been confirmed that you can play as Sonic, Tails and Knuckles on these classic titles in Anniversary Mode. However, according to some information provided in the last few days, which has been translated from Japanese, so we have to have some doubts, Knuckles will not be playable in Sonic CD, making this an even closer build to what was released in 2011. Things that were confirmed were that there were made some changes to improve the original game, just like the intro being again 4x3 and having some changes in the HUD. While on the topic of characters, we have confirmation that you can play indeed as Knuckles and Tails in Sonic 2 and presumably also in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And one detail that many did not notice was that there was a little icon that was present in the right upper corner of Sonic Select screen in the trailer. This icon was a bit confusing for some, but it is assumed to be an option to either change Sonic sprites to be of a specific game, or a way to customize your abilities in-game, with the second one being at least somewhat confirmed, because if you slow down some footage in the Sonic Origins release trailer, you can see Sonic using the drop dash in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So, this has been a confirmation that new abilities have been added to these games. It has also been confirmed that in the main menu, there were six dots that represented six tabs, we can say that. However, the last two screens were assumed by some fans to be Sonic 3 Standalone and Sonic and & Knuckles, but that's not the case. Instead, we are going to have access to a mission mode and to a museum mode. In this mission mode, it is important to refer that there is included a brand new story mode that will allow you to play all four games in order with presumably the introduction of brand new animated cutscenes that were present in this trailer, as you can see by watching the trailer. It has also been confirmed that the order of the story mode will be Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog CD, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and finally Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. I would like to also emphasize that this mode has, in the main menu, a model recreation of Sonic Spinball's main island, which looks really cool, and would like to once again emphasize that Sonic Spinball is not included in this collection. Now, speaking of the museum mode, it is confirmed that we can use it to watch normal video clips, maybe the animations that were present in this story mode, some images with concept art, and even listen to some music present in many Sonic games from the past. However, it has also been confirmed, but not mentioned at all, that this mode will have two types of collection. The standard collection, which is open right from the beginning in your game, and the premium collection, which is going to have some stuff that you can buy with the currency of this collection. 
It is important to also refer that the premium collection is going to have included some never before released or seen material and concept art dating from the development of the first Sonic game. So this is going to be a debut in the Sonic community. Speaking about the games themselves, it has been confirmed that in the anniversary mode you no longer have a life system, but instead you have it being replaced with coins. These coins will work as the in-game currency to unlock new modes for these games, such as the boss rush mode, the blue spheres mode for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and mirror mode, and even new content in this premium collection of the museum mode. Another cool addition that has been confirmed is that these coins can also be used to retry some special stages. So if you are having a hard time getting your Chaos Emerald or Time Stone, you can use these coins to try again without having to re-enter the special stage. This feature has been asked lots of times by many fans and it seems that it has finally arrived. It is important also to remind you all that more coins can be gained by accessing the brand new mission mode in this game, which is going to have some tasks for you to accomplish to get some coins in exchange. One fair point of discussion has been the lack of a time attack mode in these games, at least in the images that we have been provided through these days. However, it seems that this mode hasn't been entirely scrapped, because you have a tab to see your personal records in this game and you can also see your rank against your friends and even global and regional leaderboards. In these leaderboards it is mentioned to the time that you take to accomplish or to finish a specific act or zone. So it means that maybe we will have a time attack mode but we will have to wait to see. Now, another point of discussion has been the removal of the competition mode from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and the lack of ability to play the game has two separated intended versions. I want to make clear that, at the time of this recording, we are not certain if these are not going to be present in the game. There can be internal menus in each game that allow you to select these modes, or Sonic 3 alone, or Sonic and Knuckles, or even the competition mode from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Also, I would like to mention that um, the competition mode from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for those that don't know, isn't really that bright of a mode. It has five exclusive stages, that's true with some exclusive music tracks, which is also true. However, it is more of a lap race, and Knuckles doesn't even have his abilities, so maybe this mode can be reused in some missions, so let's be patient and wait to see. Finally, it is time to address that there are many versions that this game has, not only the standard version and digital deluxe versions that were present in the trailer, but also three separate DLCs that together make the digital deluxe edition, being those the Start Dash Pack, the Premium Fun Pack and the Classic Music Pack. You can see a representation of it here on your screen, uh, but basically I'm going to just sum up everything that you can get that is locked behind these packs. All the things that you can get with the pre-order of the Digital Deluxe Edition are 100 bonus coins, mirror mode unlocked from the beginning, extra hard missions, letterbox backgrounds for the classic editions of games, character animations in the main menu and during music islands, a full camera control of the main menu islands that are present in the game select screen and additional music tracks from the Mega Drive or Genesis titles. This last part has created some speculation that this could be indeed the tracks that Michael Jackson contributed to make in the Sonic 3 and Knuckles or other tracks that maybe had some legal issues or something like that. However, it has been confirmed that these tracks will be not the tracks that we were mentioning, but instead tracks of games such as Sonic 3D Blast, more specifically the Mega Drive or Genesis version, Knuckles Chaotix and Sonic Spinball, 
with no mention at all regarding what music will be used at the time of this recording in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic Origins will be released at the standard price of $39.99 and the Digital Deluxe Edition at $44.99, with no current price labeled for all the DLC packs. This collection will be released for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, Steam and Epic Games Store, and coming soon on Nintendo Switch. We'd like to emphasize again that this release is only digital, so there will not be a physical version to buy, at least at the current time. So, what do you think of this? Is this a good collection? Is it too pricey for what it offers? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, you all.